Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella Hernandez and I'm a licensed esthetician and a holistic skincare developer. Today I want to talk to you about a very exciting topic. Um, new season, springtime, new routine. Spring is definitely my favorite season because it represents new beginning, um, starting all over. I don't know, it's just, it's something about that season that is my by far fa favorite season of all. With that, we need to understand that every season we have to adjust our routine, right? Uh, weather changes, environment changes, skin changes. So we always have to be adjusting the routine based on the weather we live in, the seasons we are experiencing, the environmental factors, as well as all other ones that are there present at all times. But in the spring, usually, what is happening, depending, of course, where you live here in California, we have beautiful weather all year long with exceptions of more rain this year. But what happens in the spring is that if you have been using heavier moisturizers um, during the winter months because we needed to occlude more hydration into the skin, now would be the time to reevaluate those heavier moisturizers and go with something a bit lighter if you feel like it's too much. So that's number one. Uh, number two would be um, you still need to exfoliate. You can never stop exfoliating because ex not exfoliating is not good. Overly exfoliating is not good either. So it's very important to understand that there are certain steps we always have to follow, but then there are others we have to adjust. So lighter moisturizers. Um, one of our top sellers for spring and summer would be the Balancing Citrus Cream. That is a very lightweight moisturizer. This is a nice moisturizer for pretty much anybody, especially people that do not like the feel of heaviness, too, too much feeling of there's too much on the skin. So this is a, a great option for spring. We also have the weightless probiotic moisturizer that it's been around for a very long time. So those are the two options. Uh, really nice to switch during the springtime if you're somebody who is more on combination to oily side. However, dry people like myself, we still have to always use a lot of different serums as well as heavier moisturizers, no matter what the season is. So depending on you're at, you have to adjust that. In the spring, I like to switch around the cleansers. We do because there is more uh, dryness in the, in the air. Usually we need to be more alert about using the cleansers that are really gonna thoroughly cleanse your skin. So my, my, one of my favorites for spring would be the Anti-Aging The Glow Cleanser. This has a little bit of glycolic, so it's really nice to use daily. As, the, as a one of the cleansers, not twice a day, only once a day, um, because it gently exfoliates the skin enough for springtime, but doesn't overstrip the skin. This wouldn't be for somebody who is super sensitive, but I would suggest for those that are more sensitive, the Alpha Vitality is a really nice refreshing cleanser. A lot of people use it, use it all year long, but the ones that are sensitive, this would be a good transition for the spring to use because it's just energizes the skin, decongested the skin. It's a, it's a great cleanser to have. I am a fan of having two different cleansers so we can alternate because, you know, we shouldn't be using, there are certain cleansers shouldn't be used twice a day, but a good combo of having two, three cleansers is really nice. So you can alternate and adjust based, based on what you need. Another very important thing for spring is because the sun is out more and the free radical damage is higher, is to never forget your vitamin C. Complex vitamin C, our spalina formulation is really nice. It contains glutathione and also has some gold in it, so it has re extended release. It's a very nice serum, feels really nice. It just sinks into the skin. It makes you feel like there is nothing there, but it does the job. It helps you protect you from free radicals. Free radicals are scavengers that are always trying to steal an um, electron to pair with it. It's kind of like, think of it as 
a man going to the bar without a woman and he's trying to steal a woman at the bar from another male. So it's a, like a domino effect. So one is always missing. So this is the one that will replace the woman in the bar for the man that didn't bring the female with him, if it makes sense to make it fun. Um, so don't forget to use your vitamin C. Another very important thing is SPF. Even though you should be using SPF every day of the year, no matter rain or shine, cold, hot, doesn't matter what it is. If you are last, if you're not doing that, or if you're skipping the days, thinking I'm inside, I'm not doing it. Please get back on the routine. Spring is a good time for new beginning. So it's the SPF. My favorite is the tinted SPF. I like to um, mix it with the zinc but this is my definitely best seller, something that people love. What it does, cause it kind of gives you the finish of a filter look, you know, the popular IG filters we all love. So it gives you that kind of a look. And all you have to do on top of that is, if you care to put anything else, is a little blush, mascara, lipstick, and you look great. That's what we are striving for, as little as possible makeup, as healthy as, as possible skin good healthy barrier and just adjusting. So spring is a good time to start fresh, to reevaluate your routine. Um, if you haven't had a facial in a while, it's a good time to go schedule that so you can have some deep cleansing before the new season starts, start fresh and be serious about it. If that is important to you, you have to invest your time, money, and you have to commit to it. Nothing will happen if you are missing any of those three. It's a lifestyle, it's not a one-time uh, fix, it's not a one-time visit at the esthetician. It is something you have to continuously doing, just like brushing your teeth, going to teeth cleaning. It's never ending because body is a living organ, skin is the largest organ, so there you have it. Have to do it, nobody else can do it for you. If you found this video informative, please hit like and subscribe, share it with your friends, help me grow my audience and always thank you for your support and I hope you enjoyed it.